Hello and welcome back to another episode of Real Moments in Life. Today we see some amazing orangutans in their wild habitat, eat some interesting food and explore the beautiful island of Borneo, Malaysia. Hey guys, my name is Jack Tor and welcome to my YouTube channel. G'day and good morning guys. I hope you enjoyed that new intro. It took me a while to make. Today we're in a different country. We're in Kuching in Malaysia. Sort of sounds like Chiching, like the money sound when you win on the uh, pokey machines. Today we have a very special person who you'll see over the next coming videos. Jay's actually went back to Vietnam, so I'm traveling with my mate Wesley from Hello. Australia. So Wes and I are traveling for about a month together. Um, Wes is a very good artist and he's actually currently designing a portrait for me so I can change my profile picture on this YouTube channel. Today we're going to see the orangutans. We're going to a orangutan nature sanctuary and what we're going to be learning about today is why they're a endangered species. Orangutans can only be found on the island Borneo which we're in right now and also on Saramak. I hope I'm saying that right in Indonesia. So currently what's happening with the orangutans is they're being killed. The deforestation for palm oil and farming and things of that nature and also farmers are killing them off because they're because they're eating the food on the farms and also they're being killed for their meats and other weird Chinese medicine. We're just going to be finding a lot more out about the situation with the orangutans today and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. Um, I'm really excited to see them. Believe it or not, monkeys are one of my most favourite animals um, in this world really. Monkeys and elephants. So I've already seen enough elephants in Thailand. So um, yeah, I'm very, very excited for today. So strap yourselves in. Today's going to be an awesome day. Good morning, sir. Good morning to both of you. Welcome aboard. Is it, is it just us? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, cool. It's a private tour. <laughs> private tour. <laughs> okay. Private tour for the Australians. How good is that, mate? Yeah, so good. Oh. Sculptured for both of you for this private tour. Uh, this is from my boss, not from me. Okay. Uh, to to advise me to collect 200 ringgit? Yes, no worries. Uh, so we've just stopped off to get some breakfast now. Because we're on a private tour, um, he was kind enough to let us stop off to get breakfast. We hadn't had breakfast this morning, so we're really excited about that. So let's give this a try. So we've got chicken and like a ramen type noodle. So you, you can taste the egg in there, the chicken, really flavoursome. You can tell that it's got some pepper or something like that. I saw him pour some beer in there too, so that was a um, nice little extra secret touch for the secret recipe. Mm, yeah, really nice, good way to start off the day. I saw with my own eyes that uh, there were whereby the baby helps the mother to arrange for the nest, oh, to build oh, the nest. Okay. So it's quite an uh, amazing experience. Yeah, so as you can see up there, that's the orangutan nest, which is essentially, it's one of the old nests, but it's what the mother and the baby would sleep in. Um, so yeah, that's really, really cool and fascinating. I didn't know that they made nests like that. So we're about to go down now to see the orangutans being fed. Our guide was just saying that even though the orangutans don't have a watch, they know when it's time to be fed. They probably look at the sun or something like that or just know because... So pretty much, even though that these orangutans are essentially in the wild, 
what I read online was there's not enough food for all of them so they do need to have extra feeding and especially when it's not uh, fruit season when all of the fruit isn't growing they definitely need to come and get fed otherwise there won't be enough food for them so as you can see here behind me this is one of the feeding platforms so essentially what they do is they get all the fruit bananas and everything they put it on the platforms and then wait for the orangutans to come but our guide was just saying that hawks also come and feed on the food um, cheeky little bastards so, uh, the orangutans aren't here yet but we're just going to go for a walk around the park and um, wait until they come out <laughs> So our guide was just saying that they put ropes in between the trees to build up the um, orangutan's strength. They don't want them walking on the ground, they want them to be strong. So even though they are in the wild, yes, in around this sort of main area, there is ropes for them to build up their strength. So guys, we're definitely not in a zoo, we're in prime um, rainforest, which hasn't been touched by humans so the only bit that's been touched is what's built around me but all of the other forests that you can see is prime rainforest and none of it's been um, deforest to clear out land or anything like that but it's just so fascinating to see these orangutans up close orangutan is the species of ape that shares the most DNA with humans and you can tell like in their faces they like look human it's so fascinating amazing thing to see this is definitely one of my main highlights whilst traveling yeah insane hear that noise that's the orangutan smashing open a coconut onto the side of the branches to drink and then to eat the flesh fascinating and then that monkey that just got given the bananas then had probably only got six or seven bananas and that's all it needs like it hasn't been greedy and came back to collect more so I'll be interested to see how much food they actually get. Orangutans are actually six times stronger than your average male human. So you don't want to be getting into a fight with orangutan, let me tell you. Come, this one is aggressive. Come on, come on. Come on, this one is a big boss in here. Just move, 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 move. Move over there. Move, move. No, 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 no. Come, 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 don't get it. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. Faster. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's why I told you this now. Orangutan is everywhere. 
And I really <laughs> hope that not all of you will stay to the middle at the middle of the trail. Just because of this one. Okay, I don't want this happen to you. And this one loves to chase the visitors. And of course us. Sometimes you playing around. Okay, but this one is very aggressive. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, luckily. Come, come, come. His name is Edwin, 26 years old, and he is the second biggest in here. Okay? I just. Just stop, stop, right? stop. Right. Okay. Actually, it's for your safety. Just to make sure you keep your distance from the wrong time. Okay? At least 6 to 7 meters from the wrong time. It's good because once they start to chase you, you can run for your life. It's <laughs> It's okay, I'm just kidding. Okay. There's only about three orangutans here right now, one of them with a baby. But there's actually another um, 17 orangutans in this forest near here. So. It's so interesting to see that only three of them are coming out for food so there still must be plenty of food in the rainforest and our guide was saying that even though they like to come and get food they actually rather stay in the rainforest because it's more quiet and they don't have to interact with humans so I guess that makes sense so you know they say oh yeah like the animals at the zoo they're very happy but if they're really happy all 20 of the orangutans from the rainforest would be here right now there's only three of them coming to like collect food, so that's a really interesting point. The thing that they actually do here is they name the orangutans. Now you might think, why would they name them if they're wild? Well, there's actually vets on the ground here that just make sure that they're okay. And I think, like currently there's a baby called Baby Raya, but they don't know if it's, if it's male or female. Now I don't think the vets are too, um, are too up in their face. I think only if they see that the chimpanzee is struggling or something's wrong, then they might dart them, put them to sleep and see what's wrong. They're not really going up to them all the time and doing checks and everything like that that's really invasive. They're sort of letting them be, but there is vets on site here, which is good to know to keep them alive and to keep them well and to keep them reproducing because they are a endangered species. God was just saying that there's only 2,500 orangutans in Borneo currently and that number's decreasing every single day. It's really intense so I'm going to leave a link to this place in the description if you want to donate or, or do some research or even come to this place because it was really re rewarding and as our guide was saying earlier that we're extremely lucky today. Some days just you don't even see any orangutans because they are wild and they didn't and they don't want to come out and see the humans and eat the bananas and, and do all of that. But today we got to see a teenager, a six year old, an alpha male and um, uh, like 20 year old women orangutans as well. So we got to see the full package. So it was only 24 Australian dollars, which is about 15 US for this tour. 40 minute drive here, 40 minute drive back, plus the tickets for here. I think that's incredibly worth it for what we got to see today. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that one here. But as always guys, keep it real, and I'll see you in the next video.